guys, it's Tina and I am back and something is a little bit different. Can you guys tell what's different? The background? <laughs> it's a little bit different. It's a lot different actually. We moved and yeah, I wanted to do a video to do an update with you guys and do a mini haul. A mini haul for me anyway. May not be a mini haul for you guys, but I wanted to do an update video just to chat with you guys and catch you up on what's going on and going on with hair. So we moved two weeks ago and whoa, it was, everybody will tell you this, moving is hectic, but we did it and we did it by ourselves in two days flat. We did it middle of the week so we could barely get any help. And then it was so short notice that we couldn't even get like movers to help us. But we saved a lot of money doing it ourselves, but we got a lot of bruises and I'm recovering from a lot of bruises. But I feel very accomplished because we moved a lot of stuff and we moved upstairs. We moved so much stuff. It was like, whew, I feel very accomplished by that. But yeah, so we moved and we moved into a bigger space with more rooms and, and more space. We just moved into a bigger place. So I can have my own room. There's a separate room for guests, so I don't have to worry about that. There, I, I can set up a whole guest room and everything, and we have, so I can set up this room for myself, which is really, really fun, and yeah, I'm really excited about it because it's like my own little sanctuary, and we still have like functional stuff in here, like my actual dresser is in here, my full closet is in here, but it's, Still like my beauty room like my room so I'm really excited about it it's simple I didn't do much in here and I'm not gonna do much because that's just not my nature I don't get really crazy with rooms and stuff and decorating but I will give you like a mini overview at some point so you can see the whole new setup and then you know show you how I organize the makeup and everything and a big difference is that I am sitting right in front of like a really big double mirror um, window mirror I am in front of a mirror but it's a double window so I have a lot of natural light now which I'm gonna see if I can film some videos in natural light and see how they turn out I don't know how that's gonna work out because it is getting towards winter and you know you know daylight's gonna be a little bit less and we don't face east or west. The windows don't face east or, west, east or west, so we don't get direct sunlight when the sun's rising or setting or throughout the day, which is really good because I don't want my makeup in direct sunlight or to get all that heat. It's not good for makeup and it's not good for storage and, you know, shelf life of your makeup. So I store my makeup away from direct sunlight. And this way, it's away from the sunlight but I can still sit in front of the mirror and have my everyday things right here, but then store the makeup away from it. So it's a different setup and I hope it's gonna work out well. So far it seems to be working out well. I still have my same lighting and if, in case you're curious, I'm just using the Glam Core, a Glam Core light set. That's it and um, my mirror, which is my, wait, what is it? Simple Human Mirror, which is expensive, but so worth it. And then, you know, I didn't do too much with the background because I found that the words that I had on the back wall were kind of distracting. Sometimes the camera would focus on the words and not on what I was showing you in front of the camera. So I decided to keep the background pretty simple and not chaotic so I can, the camera will focus here and I don't have to do too much with, you know, fuddling, fundling, fundling, <laughs> messing around with settings and all that, right? I'm usually not missing from YouTube for more than a week since the year started. I've posted consistently and I've tried to keep up with a consistent schedule and I posted a video yesterday and that video was actually due to go up a lot sooner because I pre-recorded that, I edited it, I had it uploaded and ready to go but I just didn't publish, publish it because I watched it five times and you will, you, if you watch the video you'll know what I'm talking about and more more so if you read the description of the video you'll know what I'm talking about I'll link it below so you can check it out it was a rant video it was a get ready with me video but it was a rant video and I put it in the title it's a rant video so people are aware it's a rant video and if you see rant anywhere in a title it means someone's gonna be negative it's gonna have a negative undertone I thought that was a given 
I just thought that was a given, so I made sure I included that in the title. And then I even put a little bit of a disclaimer in the description box and in the beginning of the video. Hey, I'm gonna curse. It's not gonna be that, you know, lovey-dovey butterflies, bubbles, and fairies, and unicorns, and rainbows kind of thing. And I thought about it, and I was so hesitant to post that video. I was like... I don't want to post it because I don't want to come off as this negative Nancy. I don't want to be that person on YouTube, you know what I mean? But and I really contemplated I wasn't going to publish it at all. And then I said, you know what? Screw it. Because that was me in that moment and I was being very real with myself and I was being me. And that's what you guys are here for, to see me. And it's unnatural to be bubbly and spunky and oh my god look at this it's so awesome all the time and like it doesn't give a real depiction of your personality and who you are as a person and you guys know and a lot of commenters on that video you got where, where I was coming from you guys know that I give you me a hundred percent of the time and I'm just me period I don't sugarcoat things I don't I'm very blunt I give you, I say what I mean, I mean what I say, I am who I am, and I don't apologize for it. And that's what made me post the video. I was like, screw it. I was being me in that video, and you know what? I'm going to post it, and that's it. And I hate that people think that YouTubers need to be nice all the time and they need to be syrupy sweet and if somebody respond if somebody comments to them and says something nasty like they can't snap back at them because they're rude all of a sudden where are the rude ones if somebody says something nasty to us like oh you ugly toad you go and die in a bush like we're supposed to just sit there and be like okay oh my god no I feel like people expect people on YouTube and people that create videos and celebrities and I'm not including myself as a celebrity but celebrities go through it Instagram famous people go through it and youtubers go through it from the smallest fish moi to the largest fish Jacqueline Hill um, Jenna marbles they go through it they go through people posting really nasty things to them and they're expected not to snap back or retaliate or say anything negative back because all of a sudden they're the rude ones and not the original poster or commenter. Like some people feel like they can say anything behind their computer screens to the person that made the video and that person is supposed to just take it because oh you're on YouTube and psh, you're putting yourself out there so therefore you should be open to all of this. And no, I am human and you're rude, so I'm going to snap back at you because in real life I would tell you about yourself also. So don't think I'm not going to tell you about yourself on YouTube as well. So that's what I did and that's how I feel about it. And I said some choice words, I cursed, whatever, and it wasn't even that many curse words. It was like three curse words. Big fucking deal. <laughs> Pardon my language. I curse like a pirate. But anyway, it wasn't like this curse word, like all I was doing was cursing. And even a lot of people, and thank you guys, a lot of people are like, yo, I so understand where you're coming from. And a lot of per people also understood where I said I was an extroverted introvert, because a lot of you guys are the same way. And I really love the response I got. Like, I wasn't expect I was expecting a lot more negativity. I was a expecting a lot of people to dislike the video, which they have, and a lot of people to unsubscribe, which they have, but the overwhelming positive feedback that I got, I was not expecting. Like, I was expecting people to be like, yeah, Tina, I get where you're coming from, but you did way too much. You went too far. You, d you did the most. And I was ready for that. I was like, bring it, bring it, come, skin well tough. Bring it, my bop, broad. Um, you know, I, I'm not gonna get hurt by it. Bring it. So I was expecting that feedback, and most people, like 99%, 99.9% of the comments were like, "Yo, I get where you're coming from. I totally agree. 
I'm an extroverted introvert as well. I love my alone time. I love my my alone. I'm, I'm, I love my own company. And I was like, yo, I was not expecting that. And now I, I it like reinforced what I've always thought that the people that watch me my core subscribers those people that ride or die those core subscribers that watch most if not all of my videos they get me like you guys get me you understand me and you know that I am not this bubbly sweet butterflies in flower petals sweet goody two-shoes I'm not that and I don't know where people came up with this thing that you always have to be nice all the time. Like, how is that humanly possible? Who goes around being butterfly sweet all the time? Ain't nobody got time for that. Listen, we all have our moments. We're angry. We're mean. We say mean things. And I'm not going to sugarcoat it and pretend that I am something that I'm not. In that video, that's why I posted it. Because it shows that I am not pretending to be someone I'm not. You know what I mean? And a lot of people filter out things on Instagram, YouTube, because they want to show you this persona and make themselves out to be this little innocent angel. And I'm like, I'm not that. And I don't want to pers per, um, promote that. <laughs> that sounds bad, right? I don't want people to perceive me as that because I am not that. Does that make sense? And someone did comment. She was like, um, she was very respectful. She was very, like, her comment, even though it was like negative, it, it was constructive negative feedback and I appreciate it. She was like, hey, you know, a lot of young girls watch you and a lot of young people watch you. So um, just be mindful, just sprinkle it with a little bit of positivity in there. And I was like, you know what? I get you and I understand that. And that's why I left that whole disclaimer in the video because I wasn't even going to post the video. And that's why I wasn't going to post the video because I was like, oh, people are going to see this really negative side. And I'm like, yeah, I get it. I should still showcase and show positivity. And I do that for the majority of my videos. So if there's a one video where I'm like, screw that. Everybody sucks. I hate everybody. <laughs> no, I don't hate everybody. <laughs> but if there's one video where I'm negative, why not? Because, and she said, you know, young people, and I'm like, my nieces watch my videos, my nephews watch my videos sometimes, not too much, but my nieces watch my videos, I have cousins that's wa that watch my videos, and I'm like, they know me, and they know I'm straight to the point, like, no, no. And I want them to know that you can be you, and you don't have to put on this facade for everybody else to accept you because that's what society expects you to you're a female so you're supposed to be sweet and innocent and nice and just always you know high positivity shining light rainbows oh my god you don't always have to be that you can be stern you can be in charge you can stand up for yourself if someone comes out their face to you, if someone tries to bully you, you can stand up for yourself and you should stand up for yourself. You shouldn't just cower in the corner because people expect you to be nice. Stand up for yourself. Say something to them. If somebody's talking behind your back and you feel like you want to defend yourself and say something, I'm not telling you to go fight. But if somebody says something about you or says something to you, you have every right to defend yourself and speak up about it. So don't be afraid to speak your mind. And, and that's what I want younger people to know like you can stand up for yourself and you don't have to be this butterfly syrupy sweet person life isn't like that and sometimes you do have to step out of pocket and sometimes you do have to just respond to somebody and put them in their place like yo don't don't do that don't mess with me don't say these stupid things to me it's not okay and it's okay to do that was that a mini rant no that wasn't a mini rant, but thank you guys. Oh my God, the overwhelming positive feedback I got to that and people getting where I'm coming from and really like saying, yo, I feel the same freaking way. I'm like, yes, we are here. We are here. <laughs> yes, we understand each other here. We're here. We're here with each other. And I love you guys. Love you guys. I don't hate you guys. I hate most people, but you guys, my like, can I say my like not a lot? But we're going to jump into the haul because I wanted to quickly share some things that I picked up. And there aren't too many things that I picked up, but I'm going to share them really quickly because this video is already long. But I picked up um, the Sephora Beauty Amplifier. Is that what it's called? The Pore 
Perfecting Primer Mist and it's an aerosol primer and somebody recommended this to me so thank you so much for recommended this, recommending this and she said check it out I really love to hear your thoughts and I'm like Tch. I'm going to because you know <laughs> when you guys tell me to check things out I go and I research it and Sephora has great reviews on this people really love the primer the packaging seems to be an issue with some people they say it gets clogged and stops working after a while I haven't had that happen I've been using it for two weeks now and I haven't had it clogged but it is an aerosol shake it up and then I spray it on my brush so I actually spray it on my it cosmetics oh what is this oh my god OMG foundation brush and I spray it on the brush itself and then I you know cap it into my t-zone area and it comes out like a fluffy it's almost it comes out almost like milk of magnesia it's kind of white but it's kind of fluffy and it comes out like it's like it comes out almost like mousse like a more di diluted mousse and then tap it over your skin it mattifies so well it's um like the cosmetic version of Milk of Magnesia because Milk of Magnesia is like this I use it but I use it sparingly I don't use it all the time because it's not meant to be used topically it's not meant to be used on your face and your skin and it is an antacid so it does neutralize acid and you do need a balanced pH on your skin because your cells need to thrive and all that and so they can renew and rejuvenate and your collagen and all that stuff so don't get I'm not getting into the chemistry behind it but uh, a base and an acid they're opposites of each other and they cancel each other out milk of magnesia it has hydroxide in it so it does cancel out acid so it neutralizes the acid on your skin which you do need a certain pH so it lowers the pH too far down for your cells to really thrive so milk of magnesia use it very sparingly don't use it every day and I try to just use it only when I truly truly need mattification like to that extent but this guy has now replaced that it's it's an everyday milk of magnesia for me in cosmetic grade so love this guy pick it up at Sephora Sephora has some good stuff so thank you again to who recommended me recommended this to me it's really really good I really love it then I picked up everybody's going on about this right the Tatcha luminous dewy skin mist now I picked up the travel version I'll grab it really quick on the Tatcha website itself they have the miniature version so it's it's point what is it point four fluid ounces the full size version is 1.3 five fluid ounces so you're getting a little bit less than a third in the travel size but this is fifteen dollars so you can try it out to see if you like it before you buy the full size and that was my intention I was gonna try it out because I hear everybody talking about it but I'm like dewy skin mist I mean I need to kind of do it on my skin but you know the curious side of me was like it's makeup you need it everybody's talking about it try it out so I got the little mini version to try out instead it was free shipping and I tried it and I ended up really liking it and I'm glad I got the miniature size so I can travel with this but this is a moisturizing hydrating skin mist it is going to hydrate your skin it is going to add a glow and some dewiness to your skin if you're not about that life do not get this however if you don't mind using a little bit more powder to set your foundation down to a matte you can use this as a primer for your foundation keep up with me just follow me for a minute don't don't leave me yet the second ingredient in this product is glycerin glycerin yes you heard me right what does glycerin do anyway glycerin is a humectant but it also creates a very tacky base it kind of pulls moisture to it as a humectant so you spritz that over your skin it cleans the foundation so did I just get all aggressive I did <laughs> it was very aggressive it makes your skin like call the foundation to it so what I find is it my foundation blends really nicely over it in addition to it hydrating my skin it also makes my foundation cling and blend easily blend nicely hold onto my skin for dear life I still get oily it's not gonna mattify or anything but it does make my foundation last a little bit longer 
still powder, still do all that because oily skin, I need it. Oh my god, my skin looks, my skin looks really good. Wow, I look nice, right? <laughs> Not being conceited. Lord God, I'm arrogant, I'm a bitch, and I'm conceited. That's what I got your next. But no, for true. Oh, you know is what? I know is what? <laughs> All right, so <laughs> I got the next thing up, which is probably the most exciting, is I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills new illuminators. Now, all right, let's talk for a minute about the launch of these. Listen, Norvina and Anastasia Beverly Hills had me on the edge of my seat and everybody else because they were supposed to launch it on their website before it went to Macy's. They were supposed to launch it on, what, a Friday night or the Saturday night. I'm a daddy, I'm a wait, I'm a say no God don't like ugly, go your bed. So I went to my bed, woke up. Um, if you follow Trend Mood 1, is it Trend Mood 1 or Trend Mood on Instagram? She keeps up to date, she tells you what's going on. And she was all about this launch and they were like, oh my God, they're updating the website because you know they want to make sure you can handle the traffic and all of this and all of that and all of that. I'm just saying, oh, whatever. So Monday it launched on Macy's and I was like, Macy's, I'm not really order for me, I'm not really check for you, but I'm going to order it. And I ordered three of the shades off of the Macy's site and they had 8% cash back from Ebates. I'll leave my Ebates link below, check it out to get money back. And they had 8% cash back, plus because of my purchase size, I got free shipping. I was like, yeah, give me the thing, give me it, give me it. And I got it delivered in two days. I was like, what? what? Macy's, my like, yeah, because I was so excited about these. I got the shade Peach Nectar. And, which is the peachy one. I'm gonna come up close so you can see it. And uh, Riviera, which is the one I was hesitant about. It was more of a neutral, like a dusty rose shade. And I was like, I don't know if it's gonna be too gray toned for me. And then I got the shade So Hollywood, which was the only one, which was the other one I was hesitant about. I was like, So Hollywood is gonna be too light because I feel like they make highlighters for light, lighter skin or light medium skin. And my skin is just like, no baby girl, it's too light for you to put it on. But I was, listen, when I got these, <laughs> so I'm sitting at my desk, I got these delivered and I was like, I opened a package and did one of these. <laughs> and people are laughing because I posted on Instagram. I posted a video showing them and swatching them. And I said in the caption, I said, listen, my vagina convulsed. And people were cracking up. People are like, what? If her vagina convulsed, I need to get that product. And I'm so serious. I'm so serious to you. And this doesn't usually happen. It happens very rarely over makeup products. My husband all day, every day, but the makeup products very rarely. So I'm sitting the thing, and I'm sitting there staring at them like <laughs> I was feeling it. I was so feeling it. And the worst part about it is I had to wait till I got home so I could take pictures, film the actual product. Like I film the actual product when I get it fresh and new so you can see the full detail of it and then dig into them because I want you to see the nice pretty product and then I can test them out and work with them and stuff. Listen, when I touched them, I had another moment because they feel very soft and airy. They don't feel soft and creamy. Like you know how Becca's products are soft and they're creamy, they feel almost moist. These feel so soft and like airy. They're a baked, they feel like a baked product. So like the mineralized skin finish from MAC, but they have that baked um, texture to them where they're light. It's very light powder and finely melded. Oh, this is what these feel like. They're very soft. The, the, the design is beautiful. And Norvina explained that the design was meant, was designed exactly that way so you can pick up the product on the brush. So if you rubber brush over it instead of a smooth surface, there's actual texture here so you can actually pick up product versus running your brush over a smooth surface. You're like, oh, nothing's coming up. So the design was very deliberate, but very beautiful. And, oh, you don't, oh, these are so pretty. So this one is So Hollywood, which is definitely a yellow gold shade. It looks like a pale yellow gold. This is Peach Nectar, which is uh, that peachy shade I mentioned. And then this one is Riviera, which is that dusty, it's like a dusty rose, dumb, 
rose gold. It has a gray undertone. I was like, oh my God, that's gonna be too much. But then, look. Can you even stand me right now? And that's just swiping it over very dry skin. My hands are dry as hell. And then they blend out so effortlessly. And it's not chunky shimmer or glitter. Like there are no particles to be seen. Like you don't see particles on your skin. And oh, the sheen looks wet. It's so freaking pretty. I, I can't even know. I can't. I cannot. And I'll be honest with you. I was very hesitant about getting these two because I was like, here we go. Another hyped up product. I can't be bothered with this. And, you know, but I still was going to get them to review them for you guys because I know you guys would be interested in what I have to say. And I thought they were a limited edition. Another problem I had with the launch. Turns out they're permanent, so you don't have to rush out and get them. They're permanent. They will be available at Macy's Impulse Stores on Macy's.com. It will also be on the Anastasia website soon. And they're permanent. And I feel like it was such a trick to get people excited and kind of cause this rush, this maddening rush. And people are all about it because they're like, limited edition, I have to get it, I have to get it now, oh my god, wow, I can. And it was just a market employee to get more sales and I'm so upset with that whole launch thing. It was just, it's very upsetting, but all that being said, <sighs> fell for the hype and it's totally worth the hype. Like they are totally worth the hype. Again, I am wearing one of them now. I am wearing, which one am I wearing? The Peach Nectar. Subtle, it looks wet, looks like a sheen, but there's no glitter on my skin. Now, be mindful. Looks very nice and subtle inside. When you hit the sun, when you go outside in the sun, <laughs> you're gonna see shimmer and shine and glitter. So be mindful of that if you're not the type that likes to draw much attention to yourself in the sun. You will be twilighting out there. And I didn't mind it so much because I, I'm not in the sun too much. In direct sunlight. In sun, like in light, sunlight, it won't be an issue. Like it will still look like this, like how it looks on me now. But in direct sunlight where the sun is hitting you directly, it will show a bit of more intensity and more shine. So just be mindful of that. And then I also got, and these are the last things I'm going to share with you. I got some... Color Club um, nail polishes. Thanks to my friend Jessica. Thank you, Jessica, again. These went on sale. And she was like, Tina, you need to go and get these. They're buy one, get one half off. Grab them. And I grabbed a bunch of their, what is it called? Their oil slick collection. Love these colors. I picked these up. I picked up a bunch of shades. And I did swatches. Where's my little swatch of these? I did swatches for you guys, and I'm going to do a video showcasing these. I don't really do nail videos so much, or nail polish videos. These are the oil slick ones that I got, and then these are the holographic ones that I got. Some I had before, and then I ordered this one in addition to what I had before. But I'm going to do a video on these because I think they're really beautiful and they're worth checking out. And another brand that I discovered on Instagram, another nail polish brand, is the IL. ILNP brand which is I love nail polish and these nail polishes are gorgeous and I really love the formula I think am I wearing one of these or the oil slick one right now or oh, I'm wearing the oil slick one the one that I am wearing right now on my nails is it the oil slick one it's cash only right cash only is the one that I'm wearing on my nails and I have this posted on Instagram too it gives this chrome effect love that that is so pretty it is so amazing and I do have a video for these as well I have some of their flaky polishes I have two of these I forgot what they call these but those and then I have these kind of I don't know what they call these but these look like the oil slick ones from color club really pretty as well and I just lied to you guys like crazy that is not the last thing I got I also got some lip products. I got some more liquid lipsticks. Lord have mercy. <laughs> I got these from, maybe that's not the best way to showcase them. I got some lip colors from Colored Rain. And this is an Instagram brand again. These are liquid lipsticks. And I got, mostly I got nude shades. I got the shade Truffle Rain, Soul, and Suede. 
and these are just neutral liquid lipsticks. I really like the formula of these. I wore a couple of them and I really like the formula so I ordered some more and I'm going to do a review on these because I think these are cheaper than a lot of them on the market and I think they have a really good formula as well. So this one is what? Sweet Rain and Electric Rain. So again, going to do a video because I think these are making too much noise are really, really pretty. And then Kathleen Lights was going on about the Ofra liquid lipsticks. So I went ahead and picked up a bunch of them because she has a 40% off code. Check out her videos on it. She has a code that's 40% off, so they end up being $12. So I went ahead and bought a whole bunch of them. Yeah, a whole bunch. I've worn a couple of them. The formula is okay. She makes the formula seem like heaven, but I prefer the Kat Von D formula over these. I prefer the Colored Rain formula over these, but I do still like the formula. I think it's a nice formula. It's not the most exciting because it is a creamy, more moussey formula. It's similar to the Anastasia Beverly Hills formula, and it's just not the most impressive formula, but it's not bad at all. It's still a nice formula. Don't get me wrong. It's a nice formula. I just prefer a different formula, but you might like that formula if you like the ABH ones. Um, and then last for the lips, I got the Vamplify lipsticks. I got, how many did I get? Two, four, six, eight, ten, no, nine, ten, eleven, eleven shades. So I think they're 18. I may be wrong. But I got a bunch of the shades. I got all the neutral shades and then a fun, some of the fun shades. And this is a new lip, lip gloss formula from MAC. And I actually really, I have, uh, these remind me of what were they called? The kissable lip colors. But these are a little bit more pigmented. Again, I want to do a video on those. So let me know if you guys are interested. What you want to see first because I am filming um, whatever you guys want to see. And then the last thing that I got is uh, NARS came out with their new pro palettes and they uh, NARS like you really I didn't even I didn't even see this coming like it wasn't even on my radar I didn't even think NARS would even do this but they came out with empty palettes so it's like MAC has empty palettes um Z palettes are like the biggest ones with empty palettes and now NARS has magnetized empty palettes Makeup Forever has them too but they did their own magnetized palettes and these are large palettes these are the extra large palettes from Z palette and these are bigger than the Z palette palettes and you can also buy their products now in pan form and build your palette so they're still very pricey don't even pretend that let's not pretend that they're any cheaper but you can buy them now in the pan form and build your palette which is a cheaper way to do it and the actual texture of this is not the rubberized um, feeling of their products, like their eyeshadows, their powders. All their products has this rubberized black finish. Black fi this black rubberized finish. This is black. Has this NARS logo all over it. No mirror, and it is not a see-through lid. The entire thing is magnetized. There is no divider, so you just put whatever product you're gonna put there. Let's put. Let me show you like you don't know but you just stick on your products and it's gonna hold more than the extra large palettes from Z palette and these are actually cheaper than Z palettes I believe yeah I think this is like $18 so really excited about this this is also much thinner so it won't hold like domed um, eyeshadows but it will hold those I actually let me pull it out I actually put all my Anastasia contour and highlight powders in here because I had to put them in two Z palettes and I couldn't be bothered with having them all over the place. This way I have them all laid out in one palette. So that's where I put them and I just, what I do is I have a label maker and I just stick a label onto them. But this, oh, that's what I was saying. The texture of this, this is like a canvas texture. Kind of like those canvas bags that you can wipe off and they made it specifically like that so if they get dirty you can just wipe them clean and it's great for professional makeup artists that travel with their products all over the place and they get messy all the time but you want to keep it hygienic and clean you can just wipe them off easily so that is the last of it I'm gonna need a fan in here because I am hot 
Um, but yeah, that, um, that ends this video. Is it a 40 minute video? I feel like it's gonna be. I'm gonna try to edit it though, so hopefully it's not 40 minutes, but you guys don't mind, right? You guys don't mind. So that's it. I'm going to jump into doing a bunch of reviews for you guys because I'm really excited about these new products. And ah, we will catch up later. And thank you guys again for all your support. I really, really, really appreciate it. And I love you guys. So I'll talk to you soon. Bye.